Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So, we proceed with the reactions and mechanism for benzene. So, basically, benzene uh, does not undergo addition reactions because it will lose the stability of pi electron. Okay, so benzene and its deriv derivative, sorry, undergo substitution reactions rather than addition reactions. So, the product of substitution reactions adalah aromatic compounds and also unsaturated compound. So meaning that this kind of reaction will not occur in benzene because it will lose one of its pi electrons. So bila dia hilang satu pi electron, so this compound is no longer an aromatic compound. So due to that, benzene will undergo the Substitution reactions to maintain its aromaticity and the product form is unsaturated compound. Okay. So this is the general mechanism for electrophilic substitution reactions. So the reaction will start with the benzene attack towards the positively charged electrophile. So, and then it will form a resonance structure, this tree structure. Next, a base will stabilize the resonance structure by removing one hydrogen atom from the structure. And then the double bond will reform and the base will react or form a bonding with hydrogen atom. So, there are five reactions of benzene, which is electrophilic substitutions. The first one, we have halogenations. Second, nitration. The third one is sulfonations. Next one is Friedel-Crafts alkylations. And the last one is Friedel-Crafts acylations. So, these five reactions will have a mechanism for each of it. Okay, so this is the general equations. Okay, so you have benzene, so react with X2, whether Cl or Br, with the presence of e, FeX3. So, kalau you guna Br2, so dia akan jadi FeBr3. Okay, Br2 dengan FeBr3. Kalau Cl2 dengan FeCl3. So, macam biasa, kalau substitution product, kita akan substitute only one atom of Br ataupun one atom of X2. So, akan appear satu saja X. Okay, the second one, kita ada nitration, HONO2. So, substitution product adalah NO2. So, whenever you tak ada X group pada you punya uh, reagents, Okay, macam ni HNO3, SO3. So, the second conditions kita akan gunakan adalah acid which is H2SO4. So, for the for those yang ada X group, contohnya macam RCL, this one pun C double bond OCL. So, kita akan guna uh, FEX3. So, ataupun ALCL3. Okay, so kalau you ada halogens dalam part of your reagents. So, the condition is a Lewis acid. So, Lewis acid, it depends on the reagents. Kalau reagents awak Br, so Lewis acid awak akan FeBr3. Kalau you guna Cl2, so the Lewis acid will be FeCl3 ataupun AlCl3. So, kalau dalam reagent tak ada X group, such as SO3 ataupun HONO2, so, kita akan guna condition dalam keadaan berasid which is using H2SO4. So, product yang akan dapat uh, nitrobenzene. So, the next one for sulfonations, sama juga kita guna sulfuric acid. So, this is your product. And then we have Friedel-Crafts alkylations. So, this one alkyl group sebab tu R group. Okay, so either Cl, so kita akan guna AlCl3 ataupun FeCl3. So, product akan dapat alkyl benzene. So, last but not least, kita ada acyl group. Acyl group adalah C double bond O dengan R. Okay, 
So, this group pun kita ada halogens. So, kita akan guna Lewis acid. So, this is the product. Kita akan remove the Cl. So, whatever left, itu kita akan substitute pada benzene. Same goes to this one. Kita akan buang Cl. So, yang tinggal adalah R group. So, depends on the structure. So, this one adalah name of reactions. Okay, reagents yang kita akan gunakan. So, kalau for halogenation, you have Cl2 or Br2. Nitration, we have nitric acid. So, alkylations, we have RCl. So, you boleh apaikan yang bawah ni. So, next one, we have RCOCl. So, and then for sulfonation, we have SO3. Sorry. So, this is your punya catalyst ataupun conditions required for each of these reactions. Okay, and then this is your positively charged electrophile. So, this positively charged electrophile yang kita akan substitutekan to your benzene ring. So, kalau kita guna reagent Cl2 ataupun Br2, the electrophile form is the Cl positive or Br positive. So, this Cl or Br will be substituted um, hydrogens at your benzene ring. Okay. So, for the first reactions, we have halogenations. So, since they are substitutions reactions, so only one Cl atom will appear okay, in your products. Okay. So, chlorinations are the reactions of benzene with Cl2. So, conditions there can either FeCl3 and the product form is a chloro. Benzene. For bromination bersama, just tukar by the Br2. Dan juga ia punya conditions kena FeBr3. So, final product pun you akan dapat bromo benzene. Sebab substitutions, one by one. One atom only. Kalau additions, baru you break down double point and then you akan substitutekan kedua-dua atom. Okay. So, this is the mechanism. Your very first mechanism dalam chapter 2 dulu, okay, you pernah belajar free radical substitutions reactions. So, this is another mechanism in chapter number 5. So, you have electrophilic substitutions reactions. So, bermaksud electrophile which is the positive list species, okay, will be substituted to your benzene, okay. So, sebab tu kita panggil dia electrophilic substitution. Okay, electrophile akan substitute hydrogen by the benzene. Okay, so your first step adalah kena membentuk positively charged electrophile. Kenapa? Sebab Cl2 is a electrophile. Okay, Cl2 electrophile. Tapi awak punya benzene dia sangat stable even though dia ada double bond. So, to attract... Uh, benzene to react with Cl2, we need to reform the Cl2 into a better electrophile. So, the process, you perlukan Cl2, okay, which is your punya reagents. Kalau you nak reactkan benzene dengan Br2, so kita akan gunakan Br2 di sini. Okay, so the equations is actually, okay, benzene plus with Cl2, okay, kena ada FeCl3. So, you can choose whether you want to use FeCl3 ataupun you nak guna AlCl3, boleh. So, the product that you will, you will get is Cl plus dengan HCl plus semula dengan FeCl3. So, first step adalah untuk menghasilkan uh, positively charged electrophile. Okay. So, this Cl will react with the Lewis acid. Okay. So, berlaku rearrangement. Okay. So, the AlCl3 akan bonded dengan one atom of Cl. Okay. So, leaving the other Cl atom sebagai positively charged electrophile. So, this is what actually happened. Okay, bila kita tambah, so yang ini akan, sorry, sini akan reacted. So, you have Cl. So, sini akan ada Cl, sini akan ada Cl. So, this one akan putus. Okay. 
So, dapatlah yang macam dekat sini. Okay. So, untuk yang simple, you just buat Cl2 plus Al Cl3 and then you got Cl positive plus with Al Cl4 negative. So, the next step is the formations of arenium ion. So, this is arenium ion. Okay, this one. So, what happened? Okay, benzene is a unsaturated compound. It contains pi bond, multiple pi bond. Pi bond is a nucleophile. Nucleophile is a species that have um, more electron. Ataupun kita panggil dia electron rich atom. <coughs> okay, sorry. So, electrophile adalah species yang kurang electron ataupun electron deficient species. Dia tak ada electron. So, due to this, nucleophile ada banyak electron. Electrophile kurang electron. So, the double bond will attack the CL positive. Okay. Pi electron adalah pada double bond. So, bila you nak lukis mechanism, you can make sure arrow you start from the double bond and then attack your positively charged electrophile. Kalau you buat macam ni, contoh daripada sini, ke situ, salah. Sebab arrow you bukan daripada double bond. Yang menjadikan benzene ni, electrophile adalah double, sorry, Bukan elektrofal, nucleophal adalah double bond. So, once attack, okay, so dia akan jadi macam ni. Okay, dah attack. So, double bond dekat sini, okay, di sini. So, dia akan break down. Okay, pecah. So, dia ada H, okay, so CL, okay, and then ada H. So, kalau kita kira, Cl attach pada carbon di atas ni. So, this carbon ada 1, 2, 3, 4 bonding. Okay, cukup eh. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this carbon cukup bonding dia. Tapi carbon yang bawah ni cuma ada 1, 2, 3. So, that's why dia akan pegang positive charge. So, you can draw this structure. Boleh. Tapi, you can plus dengan Ataupun, bukan plus, tapi you kena ada lagi tiga resonance structure. Resonance structure yang mana? Yang dekat atas ni. Okay, this one. Okay, the first, second and the third resonance structure. You kena lukis ke tiga-tiga resonance structure. Baru complete you punya resonance um, untuk arenium ion. Okay. But if, untuk memudahkan cara, you can draw this structure of arenium ion. So, this one, okay, satu structure ni, dia represent tiga structure yang tadi. For me, is um, much easier kalau you gunakan arenium structure yang ini. Sebab you perlu lukis satu sahaja. Next, the process is to Stabilize the double bond structure. So, we need to reform this double bond structure. Okay. So, we look at, at this structure. So, kita tahu yang kurang bonding. Okay, carbon atas ni dah cukup 4 bonding. Carbon bawah ni cuma ada 3 bonding. So, yang kurang bonding adalah carbon di bawah. So, kalau kita nak reform balik double bond antara this atom, kita kena buang uh, satu hydrogen spider Uh, carbon yang dah cukup 4 bonding supaya carbon atas kurang 1 bonding carbon bawah pun kurang 1 bonding so dekat sini ada kesilapan sedikit sepatutnya the structure yang kita buang hydrogen dia adalah di sini so yang ini dia buang so dia akan reform balik structure so yang ini salah ok so next kita dapat reform semula you punya double bond and then plus balik dengan ACL3 and plus with the H CL. So, you take note dekat part kat sini. Ada kesilapan sikit dalam nota. Okay, salah silap sikit dekat situ. Okay, so next video kita continue dengan nitrations reactions. Okay, thank you guys.